Hello, my name is Ian Olson. I'm an application engineer in SEL's R&D department. And today I'm going to show you how to use VMware Workstation Player to create a SEL BART bootable USB drive and give you a quick demo of how to create a backup. Um, so SEL's backup recovery tool is made of open source Linux tools, so it's free to use and free for you to download. And it's used for creating full disk backups of any computer system, including SEL computer products. What I'm going to walk you through today is how to actually set up that USB drive from what we download from the website and give you a quick demo of how it works. The first thing you're going to need is to download the SEL BART package from the SEL website. That's going to be a zip file that contains a README and an SEL BART ISO file. Download those onto your laptop or PC and extract them to a temporary location. So normally an ISO file is used to burn to a CD or DVD, and that's the same for SEL BART. You can burn it to a CD and actually make a bootable CD that boots up into BART. To skip over the need for a, a burnable CD or USB CD-ROM, I'm going to show you a shortcut using a software called VMware Workstation. So the first thing I'm going to do is launch the VMware Workstation software. From here, you're going to create a new virtual machine and select the installer disk image ISO. And this is where you're going to actually browse to that ISO file you downloaded from the SEL website. I'm going to click Open and Next. Now, it should default to a Linux operating system. Uh, the version doesn't really matter. You can leave it at Ubuntu. And then we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it SEL BART. You can leave the rest of the options default and click Finish. And now you have a new SEL BART virtual machine. When you click Play Virtual Machine, that'll actually boot up SEL BART inside this window on your PC. It should just take a minute to boot up. Once you're into SEL BART, you can see this is the menu system that you would see if you booted it on a normal computer. Uh, from here, the important option we want to look at is the clone feature. Uh, what clone does is it copies SEL BART itself to another disk on the system. So this allows you to, once you have an SEL BART USB drive, to make a copy of it to any other USB drive that you have. I'm going to use uh, this USB drive here and plug it into my workstation. Once you've plugged the USB drive into your laptop, from the file menu, select Removal Devices and actually select your USB drive and click Connect. That connects it so the SEL BART virtual machine here can see the USB drive. Then you can select that clone option and you can see the USB drive in the selection menu. And it's warning you that you will lose all the information because it's going to wipe out the USB drive. Click yes. And then it'll just take a minute to clone SEL BART onto the USB drive. What the clone process does, it creates a Linux partition on the USB drive to store the SEL BART boot information. And it also creates an NTFS partition to store all your backups. That makes it so you can actually just plug the USB drive into your Windows PC and it'll still have access to that backup location where you can copy backups on and off the drive. So once the clone is finished, just click OK and then go to the finished menu and shut down. And that will actually shut down your virtual machine. And from that point, you actually have an SEL BART bootable USB drive. So the next thing I have to do is plug this USB drive into my SEL computer and boot it up so that I can actually do a backup or restore an image. The first thing you have to do is, as soon as you apply power, start pressing the F5 key. That'll give you the boot menu so you can select the USB drive instead of the hard disk to boot from. So as you can see on the screen here, I'm going to select the USB hard disk drive. And we'll start to see the SEL BART uh, Linux operating system boot up. It should just take a couple minutes to boot up. And once it's done, we'll see that same menu that we saw in the virtual machine player. So using SEL BART, you can create a full disk backup of the hard drive on the computer system. And that can be useful for disaster recovery on a given computer. You have it fully configured and you create a backup so that if something goes wrong, you can restore that backup and get back to a known working condition. Um, you can also use the backup for mass deployment. Um, let's say you have a standard configuration that you want to put out on all of your computer systems. You can take a backup image of that one standard configuration and restore it to every computer as you put it out into the field. Now that we've booted up SEL BART on the computer, let's do a quick backup. I'm going to just select the backup drive option and select the disk that you want to backup. In this case, I only have one drive in the system. And then you can select where you want to store the backup to. In this case, this is my USB drive. And then you just give the backup a name. I'm going to call this SEL3355-1. Another benefit of using SEL BART is that it serves as a system watchdog to prevent it from resetting. With other backup tools, you would have to do additional steps to disable the watchdog before taking a backup. The backup process will take a while depending on the size of the image that you're backing up, typically 10 to 20 minutes. But once that's finished, you can go back to the SEL BART menu, 
select finish and shut down the computer and then boot back up into your normal operating system. Now that you know how to use SEL BART, start using it to back up your systems. Thanks for watching.